Alright, so anyway, borax is a, a sodium tetraborate is its chemical name and it's uh, used, um, I guess its primary use in the home would be as part of the laundry detergent. Uh, there's all kinds of industrial uses for borax. Uh, interesting boron compounds. Um, I thought we talked about this. If you actually burn pure boron, you get, they call it, I think they call it the green monster or something like that. What was that? No, 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 because it's toxic. This stuff, this stuff, the, the boron compound shouldn't cause trouble. Um, so, methane passes through the boron solution. So we'll gather some of this stuff over. It'll come over and, and we'll use it to light the flame. And we should get, we should, it should be hard to see. But what you should see is a green tint to that flame. I see it on the outside. Um, I don't know if we can shake it around. A little bit and get it dirty. Make it dirty. Uh, if, you, if it's dirty, it'll just be yellow. Oh. Maybe we can see. Is it green against the white background? No, I can't see any of it. All right. I don't have a black background, do I? <laughs> I snagged. Does that help? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Yeah. 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 See any green tint to it? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You guys are difficult to please. I've noticed this. It's a small amount of green. I can, I think I can see it. I don't know. It's kind of a. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We don't need that happening. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Well. Uh, we didn't have the luck of the Irish, Brad. I'm Irish. <laughs> All right. Uh, my second little demo for you guys today deals back with our old friend sodium. It's and, dangerous. And this is just a fun little thing to do with sodium. Thought that you know we need a little demo here so you know we don't start thinking this is you know just a just a pure math class. We you know we got to keep the chemicals down a little bit. Um, I just need a paper towel. There's no roll back here. That's not a paper towel. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. First he doesn't know the borax from the lorax. And then that's what I was doing. I know. I know. Well, I'm sensing a theme. They're having trouble. Too much lead, lead poison. Okay. So anyway. Um, here we have our old friend sodium. I do. That sidebar going on over there. Talk about allergies. Allergies. That's um, so here's a chunk of sodium. But what I'm going to do this time, we're going to put a little bit of water in a graduated cylinder. You know it reacts violently with water. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. But we're going <laughs> to. You might as well stop asking about the whole chunk right now. They're going to happen. All right. So we're going to put a little phenolphthalein in that water. Because what happens is when sodium reacts, sodium's an alkali metal. Some of you might remember that. Ooh. Phenolphthalein detects alkali by turning pink. Now, obviously, our water is a little bit alkaline. Otherwise, that wouldn't have turned pink. But it'll, I think you might see a more defined pink. And you might remember that from before. Now, this is a light mineral oil. Um, this is a distillate from uh, crude oil, so it's um, and it's got a pretty low density. I can tell it's less dense than water. How can you tell? Because it's on top of the water. <laughs> you guys have to insult me. All right. <laughs> yeah. Now here's the deal. Sodium's density is almost the same as water, but it is more dense than mineral. So if I drop a piece of sodium in there, um, it will go down and sink down through, sink down through the, the mineral oil and hits the water. And what happens when it hits the water? It flames. Well, there's a reaction. And it's going to, that reaction will occur right at that interface. Let's see what happens. There it goes, sinking down, yeah. hits the water. Oh. oh, did you see it shoot to the surface? Yeah. It's it shot to the surface. Now it's sinking down again. See it? Yeah. Hits the water. <laughs> it's swimming. Why? Huh? It's equal to the density of water. 
it's about the same, but it, it reacts with the water. What happens when it hits the water? Do you see little bubbles? Yeah, it releases hydrogen. Right, and the hydrogen bubbles actually stick to it, and they buoy it up. <laughs> what happens if it lights the hydrogen and the oil gets in it? Then Somebody's dead. always looking for us to punch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could light the hydrogen, but it's basically <laughs> just giving off a little bit each time. Uh, so it's probably not going to be much of an explosion there. Uh, now, some of the more observant amongst us might have noticed a significant oh, color yeah, change in the water. Oh, yeah. It was no longer pink, it's more now oh. a fuchsia color. Well, all right. we won't debate the actual shade, but <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know, anyway, fluorescent something. Anyway, so that's just a little little thingy there that we can do. There goes I think that was, yep, i got to put that tiger back in his cage there. Um, was there something else we were looking at today? Uh, did the green thing did that. Oh, you were going to freeze some. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, butane. Yeah, how does butane, how can butane freeze you and burn you at the same time? Do you know what you're doing? Butane. All right, see it there. And uh, I'll just pretend, that, you know, we're going to put a little bit of water right here on the bench. Now, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll spray that water with butane. Now, you look carefully at what happens to it. You can gather close here. I'm not going to light it. It's going to go on fire. Okay. There's ice. That's not ice. Yeah, well, if you feel it, yeah. You can actually make those, but let me see if I can turn. You can see some frost being formed there, and it does indeed make ice. You can feel it, feel it, feel that there. You see, somebody oh, confirm that. Oh, if I sprayed your skin with that, it'd freeze your skin, and you'd have a frostbite, and perhaps a very serious freeze burn, which would hurt. Very <laughs> good. Now, the other thing about butane is that butane um, that's a little drop something butane uh, we can gather butane in a thing but it's heavy it's a heavy gas so yeah, it's be the flame part. So, in order to fill this container, this this uh, graduate cylinder with butane, what I have to do is I have to get a tube down into the bottom because it's going to it, it sinks. It's actually twice the density of air. So, whoa! Well, I, I might have seen some of it coming out. Did you notice that? Yeah. Little squiggles. Okay. Back your head. I step back a little bit. Oh, wow. See if you can write that. And there's there it is. Oh, right there. oh dude, that is cool. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it'll go. Hopefully that. That's, that's Pyrex, so that should be withstanding that heat. But um, <laughs> and you can see it sort of burning <laughs> down. And, and the butane, of course, will diffuse up through that air column and and, and burn. So that's you know. <clears throat> that's about all really there's going to be to that one. So. Oh. Yeah. I know, if no one's killed, you guys are disappointed. <laughs> but, you know, we try not to mutilate and bang and Wait, so if, you, if you put in that flame and then turn that upside down before the heat came out, it's kind of like... Before the flame out? Well, I... Can we try it's it? possible. Yeah, that's a good idea. Step back.